The following is a presentation of Hockey Night in Canada in association with the NHL and Sportsnet. Standing next to you by Shun Cook is the song that opens Hockey Night in Canada tonight. It's one of the greatest limo dancing songs of all time. And by that, I mean if you watch the video, there's actually limos dancing, honestly. Uh, great song by the sensation from South Korea. You can see we're into Toronto tonight for the Bruins in their 100th anniversary year. Detroit, Montreal, another grand original six rivalry. And even before that, if you want to go back to the origins of hockey, Stanley Cups for Seattle and Ottawa. So it's a very special night. The Grey Cup champs are at Montreal. It's an indigenous celebration over at Calgary this evening when Vancouver visits. It's Hockey Night in Canada presented by Rogers, Jennifer Botterill, Kevin Bieksa, Elliot Friedman here in studio. So all this history, back in the old days, the referees used to wear black pants, a white shirt, then a white sweater, and a black tie. And then in the 40s, they went to orange. Then television came along, and it was confusing because black and white TV, the orange looked like the home team's sweater. So in December of 55, they went to stripes, which they wear to this day. You can also thank the referees and television for the week that was. Florida at number 12 has two minutes of roughing, and then every player on the ice has a 10 minute misconduct. Florida will have a two minute power play. Pittsburgh Penalty number 28 has a two minute minor for holding. You want to join them? <laughs> After beer and review, it's determined that the Florida player double tapped the puck. Kevin Pollock, one of the greats, Kyle Raymond of Red Deer, wasn't going to take any guff, and Garrett Rank, who learned that signal on the 19th <laughs> hole. He's a great golfer, too. Sensational. Kyle Bukoskis, let's set the scene at Toronto first. Now, Ron, well, in the fishbowl of the Toronto market, it is nearly impossible to hide when things aren't going well, and even when they are. And we heard a lot about what's been going on inside the fishbowl. Mitch Marner's been wearing for the time being. He was pretty honest with his thoughts about his play earlier this week, saying things like he's not trusting his abilities, that his play is not to the level that it usually is, but that to breathe and relax. And yeah, the uh, chin strap, chin guard can get a little gross at times as he's dealing with that as well. But the hat trick on Thursday, it appears his swagger is coming back. Perfect timing with Brad Marchand and the Bruins in town, who rarely come unprepared. Sean McKenzie, over to you in Montreal. 
Kyle, it's showtime in Montreal, but showtime won't be in the Red Wings lineup. Patrick Kane expected to make his Red Wings debut next week. For the Habs, Alex Newhook will miss 10 to 12 weeks with a high ankle sprain. So Marty St. Louis forced to juggle his lines, reuniting Cole Caulfield and Nick Suzuki. And when asked about it earlier today, he said, when you spend some time apart and then you come back together, things will be better, like a couple. Come for the hockey, stay for the relationship advice. Now let's send it to Carolyn Cameron. Thanks, Sean. Well, December's a busy month for many holiday parties, family gatherings, shopping, and it can be fun, but sometimes it can be a bit much. But the Ottawa Senators, they're embracing their busy month of December because they've played a league low 18 games thus far this season. They have 15 alone in a very busy December. As Matthew Joseph said, it's going to be hard on the body. Jake Sanderson adding, it's nice to get into the routine, but unfortunately, they gave up a 2 0 lead last night in Columbus and left with a loss. They'll for a better result tonight, Ron. Great, Carolyn. By the way, Kelly Rudy, hello to you. He's off for the next two weeks, and thank you for the lovely holiday wish uh, on the socials, Kelly, that you did. Uh, Elliot, let's go to Montreal. Steve Hetzapetros is the person who leads the NHL schedule building, and he's got a sense of humor because 28 years ago tonight in Montreal was one of the most seismic games in NHL history. Really changed the course of the league. Patrick Waz left in net for nine of Detroit's 11 goals, and he goes to Ronald Corey, and says, I'm done here. Days later, he's traded to the Colorado Avalanche, leading to two Stanley Cups, and Halloween is over, but those are great costumes. <laughs> and Toronto hosts Boston. It's an opportunity for the Leafs. I mean, they're facing a strong Boston team that didn't have the best week before beating San Jose on Thursday. They lost three games in a row. They'll try to build on the nice games that Marner and Matthews, who chipped in two points as well uh, on Thursday. Carolyn said it in Ottawa. They've been a victim of their schedule right after Sweden they came home two games in 12 games wasn't enough to keep the rhythm but after last night they're finally back at home they got a busy December as Shorzy would say you gotta set the tone <laughs> Jim 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 you're up you gotta set the tone set the tone tonight in Ottawa Jared Kiso Terry Ryan uh, lots of love to those guys that show's amazing all right we mentioned they're all cut from the same cloth these teams early on hockey night in Canada they are all Stanley Cup champions going all the way back to the early 1900s there's the first for Montreal of 24 Seattle Metropolitans of course Boston was the first US team in the NHL the Silver Seven Toronto Detroit that year that Detroit won their first cup so did the Tigers win so did the Lions win the NFL our cups runneth over Carolyn was also right to come for the hockey or was I guess Sean who said maybe a hoist Stanley